the first chapter in that book actually talks about software engineering versus programming and that's that's when i realized that <laughs> i may not be a good software engineer hello everyone so my name is gaurav and Welcome to 100 GB where I talk about software engineering, technology and random stuff that I care about. So uh, in this particular video I am going to be talking about like data structures and algorithms versus projects. So I have been getting a lot of attention on YouTube and I have been getting a lot of questions while I cannot answer each and every question out there but I can do make some videos that uh try to answer a lot of them. So I got many questions where people want to know uh, whether they should focus on data structures and algorithms or they should focus on doing some good projects. Uh, I actually cannot make a, a generic recommendation here, but the least I can do is I can tell you what I focused on while I was in my college and even after that. So before we begin, if you if you have any specific questions around anything. Uh, you can hit me up on Instagram. I do reply to each and every uh, direct message. uh there can be delays but you will definitely get a reply and if you do have telegram installed on your device uh you can subscribe to my channel over there as well to get notified whenever i uh i post a new video only if you have telegram installed uh like i'm not asking you to install another application on your already loaded mobile phone uh and do subscribe to this channel here on youtube if you like the content So I'll try to enlighten you all with uh, what I focused on when I was in my college and beyond that, uh, primarily around this theme, data structures and algorithms versus doing cool projects. So there, there is also one thing called competitive programming, which is kind of related to data structures and algorithms in in a lot of ways. Uh, but for the sake of this video, let's treat the term DSA or data structures and algorithms as the data structures and algorithms theory, plus. uh the the dsa questions as in plus any other question out there which is not involving uh a contest and and competitive programming on the other hand uh or or cp whenever i mention cp in this video it would mean the questions that you are solving as part of a contest let's come to the first one the dsa so data structures and algorithm i started in my second year uh not actually my first year so it it helped me build a strong base to tackle any kind of uh, con- competitive programming question or any other data structures and algorithms question you know so it also built my base to come up with even better solutions on the job or when i'm trying to solve some real life problem like for example the other day i was working on a mobile app and as nobody would imagine i had to use depth first search for uh, some kind of problem in the mobile app itself a lot of people here think that uh, one should do data structures and algorithms only for the sake of uh, cracking interviews uh, which is not true i mean data structures and algorithms will give you a lot of sense on how to tackle the problems or what kind of optimized solutions you can come up with given a particular problem so if you are someone who is doing dsa just to crack the interview maybe think again so in almost all the interviews that i have uh, ever attended i faced at least one dsa problem so dsa is the key it's it's very hard to go without it it obviously it improves your problem solving skills as well to some extent but where it it doesn't help you is getting shortlisted on the basis of your resume so it it didn't help me get shortlisted anywhere to give you an idea i can't even write in my resume that i know graph or i completely understand the kmp algorithm it doesn't make any sense the second part cp or competitive programming cp is where you get your hands dirty and your mind as well it improved my problem solving skills uh it basically took them to the whole new level it it also gave me a sense of coding and thinking uh around a lot of different constraints like time pressure and other things but again it it didn't help me get shortlisted anywhere uh because i i never aced that competitive programming as like i didn't have a very good rank uh, as in worth mentioning in my resume or anywhere else so unless you are like very good at competitive programming it won't help you get shortlisted uh, anywhere as such 
Last but not the least, it gave me a lot of confidence. Let's say when you're doing a division three contest uh, on court forces and you are able to solve, let's say three or four questions to begin with, it gives you a lot of confidence that you can do anything like, like given any kind of problem, you can solve it. Well, the third and the last part, projects. This is the part where you actually get to solve real life problems using code or you uh, get to learn how to do that. I personally did a lot of projects in my college, uh, starting the very second year. Um, so I, I did things like Android app for GPS tracking, a Java based desktop application for brain analysis, a lot of websites, an Android app for our college fest, and a bunch of other projects as well. And I, I still remember my team, uh, team Mark. There were four of us and we still have that strong bond, you know. I, I, I plan to make some kind of video on our team and our adventures uh, in our college. Let's see when in the future I can do that, but, but I will try to make it soon enough. So one thing I would like to mention here is uh, the, that the college projects didn't make me a good software engineer or a software engineer for that matter. Uh, they did make me uh, kind of a programmer, I would say. Actually, what, what happens is that we tend to uh, use these terms, software engineering and programming, interchangeably. Uh, but interestingly, these two are very different things. Uh, the moment you bring engineering uh, to any term, the entire meaning of the uh, term just changes altogether. I, I was reading this book called Software Engineering at Google. Uh, written by Googlers. That particular book is uh, freely available as in if you want to read you can go ahead. I do plan to make a series on that as well in the future. The first chapter in that book actually talks about software engineering versus programming and that's that's when I realized that <laughs> I may not be a good software engineer. So anyway uh, the projects did help me a lot uh, in getting shortlisted and in many companies during my internships and even after college. So in, in that respect, I think projects helped a lot. And also they, they actually gave me a sense of collaboration, which is very important for software engineering because in most of the software engineering projects, one is always working in a team and not uh, like by themselves. So it kind of made me a good team player. Uh, well, not good, but a team player. One thing to mention here is that if you've done some projects that involved uh, data structures and algorithms, uh, it might be worth mentioning in your resume, which even I preferred uh, to some extent, I guess. So summary uh, for me, all of these three paths were really important for you. Uh, I would suggest go figure it out by yourself. You have all the data, you can do the math. So I guess that was it for this video. If you uh, really like the video, do give it a like on YouTube. It really helps the channel. And if you have suggestions and ideas for the future videos, do let me know in the comment section. And that's all. I will see you in the next one.